Has anybody been here before? Anybody? No. no. Just one or two. Who's never been in a TV studio before? What do you think? It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. Yeah, save staying at home, paying the heating and food and life. Um, now then, now then, uh, just before we start with the official business of the day, I do have to say something because I've been watching you coming in, I've been stood at the side, I've been stood over there, watching you coming in. And I've been doing what I do with this program for seven years now. Seven years. I've seen thousands of audiences, literally. And you probably think that I say this to every audience. <laughs> but the people who have been here before will back me up on this. I've never said this before, but I have never seen a better looking audience. <laughs> what? I have never seen a better looking audience than the one we had yesterday. They were, they were, they were lovely. I've got a list of who you are. Before, before we start, we're going we're to find out who's in the audience. Uh, we have the Bull Mastiff Lovers Club of Keithley. <laughs> Sorry? Do that again. <laughs> It's sad, isn't it, when your job is to be funny and the audience are funnier than you, isn't it? I know, I know that normally we have coach parties of people here and everything, you know, women's institutes and, and things like that. But I believe you're all twos, you're all couples and fours and things like that, am I right? Yes. Oh, we've got an eight. What eight are you, please? Sorry? You 3A. What's that all about? Then? The University of the Third Age. What's all that about then? What? Old Codgers. Oh, well. ladies and gentlemen, we have Old Codgers with us today. Did anybody come from? We had someone from Royal Leamington Spa yesterday. A couple more. Sorry. You have someone from Twickow today. Where? Twickow. Twickow. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Twickow. <laughs> One comes from Twickow, and I do. <laughs> Thanks for coming, madam. <laughs> Twickow, that, that's in Germany. Yeah. And uh, what, 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 where, where's, is it near somewhere we near, somewhere we know? <laughs> no, Robert Schumann. Don't you know that you? Ah, yeah, yeah, mein Kirschen is gebrochen, yeah, good, yeah, I, I, I haven't got a clue, I'm sorry. Um, anybody, anybody else come from, from miles away? Lancashire! Lancashire! Lancashire, you're on your own, love, keep it quiet. Um, what, what part of Lancashire? Lancashire. I know it, not at all. Uh, you are very, very welcome. And I want to make you feel welcome because you're going to be here. <laughs> For something like four hours, and in that four hours you are going to be here for four days. And if that sounds like gobbledygook, it's not, because you are here for four programs. We're going to do four editions of Countdown, and uh, who, who's a real Countdown fan? Who's, who's glad that they're here? Who's not particularly bothered, but the tickets were free? And, uh, the series that's on at the moment, are you watching the series that's on at the moment? It's all finished, all been done. We recorded the final on Friday, and if you want, I can tell you who wins. <laughs> no, no. No, the reason, the reason I say this is because I could tell you now, and then you could go away from here and have a bet with all your friends and families. <laughs> oh, I bet your so-and-so wins. You can make a fortune as long as you give me 10%. Uh, the other thing you've got to remember is that this is the next series now, and it is the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is the second week of July. It is the 8th of July. It is Tuesday the 8th of July. That is confirmed, all right? Um, the 9th of July, obviously, the people at home think it is um, live, the program. We need you to look like a different audience. <laughs> and so the people who have been here before, what do we do between shows? <laughs> and the people who don't know, people who haven't been before know, we change seats and we want you to look like a different audience. Well... <laughs> Now you see, one or two of you are going, ah, ha, ha. by the time you're changing seats for the fourth time, you'll go, oh, bloody hell, bloody hell. You will be taken from this place. <laughs> when did they say that? It's execution, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah? It's not far wrong, it's the Yorkshire Television Canteen. Christine, what's the Yorkshire Television Canteen like? Oh, that says it all, ooh. Yeah, you'll be obliged to drink a 
cup of tea or coffee. You, you won't tell which is which. <laughs> Combination of the two, a cup of toffee or something. Uh, 20 pence a cup as well. And when I say cup, I mean polystyrene beaker. Um, and then we go from there, after you've had three minutes in there to, to down it. Uh, if you make it back here, then, <laughs> then different seat again, then we'll do two more shows, and then at the end of the fourth show you'll go, oh, thank God for that. Oh, God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, I interrupt my rubbishy little routine now. No, no, no. Keep it going. Keep it no, no, people haven't come to see me, but you haven't come to see me, have you? No! no. Thanks, thanks all. No! No! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. The man who needs absolutely no introduction. So we only get one. <laughs> Hey up, it's Hoppy. <laughs> Carol Horniman's here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. I wouldn't bother with all that clapping business. You'd be so fed up of clapping by the end of this afternoon, honestly. Or your stick. <laughs> I pulled a tendon in my foot. It's a bit painful. I had it last week, but no, I didn't. It's very kind of Okay, we will have a lot of fun this afternoon. We're going to have some photographs taken. So I'll hand you up back to Mr. Greg Scott, who is really the man that uh, you really came to see. Yeah, it's the man we came to see. Well, he came to see him because uh, his jokes are fantastic. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Okay. So can you look after them for ten minutes while we have a photograph taken? Yeah. If I must. No, there's, a, there's one Lancashire lady there from from where is it? He's Lancashire as well. She, she's she's not. She's from Germany. Germany. Do you know Hans Meyer? Jens Meyer, Jens Meyer, wasn't it? Jens Meyer was in the audience the other, the other day. He's from Germany. Yeah. Do you know him? Oh, I just wondered. And he said I look like an uncooked German sausage. Didn't he? he did. He did. He romantic at the time, I think. Wasn't he? Yeah. A knock first. So, 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 wait till the microphone comes to you. No, no. I want to speak to. You. Yeah, we want to listen. If if he called you a sausage. That is the greatest compliment the German can make to anybody. Yes. <laughs> My wife calls me her little sausage. <laughs> That's one of the reasons. I know, yeah. It's not German. Welcome to another session of Countdown. We're ready, willing and uh, reasonably able considering...